The reading is is great. Uh, people have been sending this to us to do, and we're definitely. I'm very happy to be doing it. I co-founded Occupy Wall Street. Now I'm headed to Davos. Why? <laughs> yeah, why? Yeah. yeah, that's a good headline. Yeah. Is it just money? So that's it. <laughs> well, uh, it's, it's so this probably is... dumber than that. It's probably they asked me, and I didn't want to seem rude. <laughs> <laughs> mm. So this is by Micah White, who, um, God by the way, damn it, Micah. Also, <laughs> mm. <laughs> Arthur, it's not about your dreams of a paradise. <laughs> um, what? We, we, are, we are all guessing black um. lung reading this. <laughs> so Michael White, uh, who claims to be one of the co-founders of Occupy Wall Street, which is like tenuous okay. at best, because he um, he was the first to tweet the hashtag Occupy Wall Street. <laughs> That's not the same thing as being the co-founder. Did, did Occupy Wall Street have founders? Oh, no, it, did, it didn't have a power structure. It didn't really did have it? a power structure. Oh, it, I mean, had, it had a library, and that was about it. And a bunch of yeah. drum circles. Mm. Uh, and like, like David Graeber also like is talked about as one of the founders of Occupy Wall Street. Um, what Michael White actually was, uh, was um, he was one of the editors of the magazine Adbusters. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that, that thing we love. That beautiful, beautiful magazine uh. that presented us with such such delight as the American flag, but each star is a different corporate logo. Nous lisons dans une société. We live they, in a society. They, they were the first to be living in a society. I will yeah. give them nope. that much. Ad, ad, they were one of the co-founders of society. Hopefully someone <laughs> noticed I actually used the French verb for reading there because we're reading the magazine, but in a society. <laughs> thank uh, you. Good, good bilingual uh, joke. Yeah, so yeah, for, the, for those listeners who perhaps don't know, and also me, can you tell us a little bit about Adbusters? So Adbusters. Ad Adbusters. Adbusters. Are you just jacking it to an ad? <laughs> I'll, 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 I'll tell you how, how Michael White describes Adbusters, then Adbusters. Alice can uh, can swoop in with the real definition. Oh, please, yes. So he says, uh, Michael White said back when he was one of the co-founders of Occupy Wall Street in his capacity as editor at Adbusters. CEO of Occupy Wall Street. <laughs> 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 Updated his LinkedIn profile. Quote, a uh, radical- Sir, I am the commander in chief of Antifa. <laughs> <laughs> a radical anti-consumerist, anti-corporate magazine that was beloved on the activist edges of society. <laughs> Okay, fine. Adbusters was the kind of shit that if you were a teen uh, coming of age in like the era of Rock Against Bush or Michael Moore books, you kind of were into for like six months and then you thought, well, this is kind of hacky actually. Like it's it it, it mm. was a magazine and then also a bunch of other things like a media properties and stuff uh, that essentially like grew in a sort of tumor-like fashion off of uh, No Logo by Naomi Klein, mm. and decided that the real problem that, uh, in the society that we lived in was that kids couldn't recognize a maple leaf, but could recognize a Nike swoosh. Um, Damn. And, and that was sort of their whole bit. And so for, for a few years, I don't know how, when they ended, or if they even did, but that, that was very much their thing, was this kind of really facile, anti-consumer uh, like... Yeah, you know, wake up sheeple kind of thing. You know how I got this swoosh. Oh, it still very much is. Exactly. My, my favorite, exactly. my favorite Adbusters thing was the trainer that they sold as like a an anti Nike trainer that cost like a hundred and thirty dollars. Uh, and instead of really like sticking a, it to consumerism, yeah, there. And instead of a t instead of a tick, it had like a spot, and it was like it was that that was your like official Antifa shoe. Uh, well, that's Nike owned. Yeah. Are, these the, are these like the sort of people who would be like, oh, more children recognize YouTubers than the politicians? That's Absolutely. Literally I tell what you what, the, the Vietnamese children who are making that shoe were like, you know what, at least I'm doing it for a good cause. <laughs> <laughs> God. So, um, basically, yeah, it, it is the single most... It, it, is, it is basically... Um, it's it's stupid answers to stupider questions. It's, it's like posted cringe. We're, we're, it's mm -hmm. all cringe posting. It's We're going to stick it to capital... Um, by like turning what, what? over the Nike swoosh. Yeah, watches uh, watches Fight Club once. 
Yeah, brand, mm-hmm. it's it's basically brands are the fundamental yeah. problem. Well, everyone, please stop sharing this. If the Nike swoosh is upside down, that means it's distress. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, so, I hate it when people criticize capitalism by doing weird public theatrical gestures. So that's just really. But they're bad not, they're not criticizing <laughs> capitalism. They're criticizing brands. Yeah, mm. that, that, that's what I mean by like I, I, when I said that they were an outgrowth uh, of of no logo. That wasn't uh, a slam on Naomi Klein. She was right. Uh, it's just that they read the first half of that and then got bored. And were like, damn, <laughs> damn there do be a lot of brands, though. It's like, well, I wish there weren't so many brands. Mm. Now, Michael I wish White- more spectator readers had that short of an attention span so they only read the first paragraph of every article where it's just like, yes, good. Oh, yes. Racism is bad. Good. Okay, I'll be moving on. <laughs> so, yeah. uh, Micah White, who no longer is at Adbusters, he's now founded a program called the Activist Graduate School. Oh, two oh, famously fuck. effective things. Activism I- and grad school. Do you have to have mm. your BA in activism before you go to grad <laughs> school? No. Yeah. I'll tell you what it is. Um, it's a series of film videos about protesting that is free for 14 days. It's a playlist. Uh, it's a YouTube playlist. It's Prager U. It's Prager U. But it's it costs the thing 100... the Gravel teens were trying Hold to on. do. Prager no. U for the left. No. It costs £140 a year. It's different. It's more expensive. Okay. Oh. It's more expensive than Prager U. Prager U premium. It's Prager Wait, U on, premium you actually, for the left. You actually, you, actually, you actually have to pay for yes. Prager U content. I uh, know. No, 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 no. No. Oh. This is that's the difference. Is the activist graduate school um is expe- it's like 140 pounds for some YouTube videos. Really, really busting those ads. Damn. And they're not as high effort as yours. Mine are free. Yeah, exactly. Mm. So here's the here's the article. So keep all of that in mind. Um that basically he organized one march that coincided with a wave of protest, tweeted out the hashtag Occupy Wall Street, worked at Adbusters, and now sells YouTube videos about like how to protest against the Nike swoosh. Which is and- which is much, much worse than selling podcasts. Yeah, yes. Damn. I always whenever I go into the Nike store, I always take a knee uh, in protest. <laughs> um so he writes this about Davos. Uh, in a few days, the world's elite CEOs and world leaders, so using world twice in the same CEOs, opening sentence. CEOs, such as me, the CEO of Occupy Wall Street. <laughs> <laughs> um, will descend on Davos for the World Economic Forum, and I'll be there too, <laughs> encountering the class I've been protesting, protesting against for most of my life. Cool. Okay. <laughs> protesting against by having a magazine. Yeah, protesting against by being like, what if instead of Procter & Gamble, it was... Uh, t- Upside down. <laughs> uh, what if it was prostate and gambler? Yeah, <laughs> prostate gambler, that's yeah. what I say yeah. you are. Yes. Mm. My journey to Davos is an unlikely story. No, it isn't. 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 Every single uh, like left movement has this guy times 100. Yeah, it's only an unlikely story if he's like skateboarded there or something. <laughs> yeah. Then I will allow him to call it an unlikely story. I'm a Why do I feel like you guys have gotten this article as some kind of like as part of three ghosts from my future? So <laughs> 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 I feel like you set this up. <laughs> be like my, my journey to uh, the you know the the, the space station mm. surrounding Earth of Elysium is an unlikely story, but. Uh, am I, I, I going to be ch- listening back to this podcast in 20 years as I'm like in the Prime Minister's office like, wow. Yeah, <laughs> just, just the like chief gently officer touching of the podcast. inside of the like pristine glass window. Yeah. Mm. Very wistful. So, no, he, uh, mm. uh, it don't, you know what it is? We're mi- this guy has posted a lot more cringe. You've never really posted much cringe. This guy, he's been posting cringe his entire career. Yeah, he, he's, he has become a capital simp. Um, mm. So my journey to Davos is an unlikely story. I'm a like- lifelong social activist who was, and get a load of the next word, nearly arrested during an anarchist <laughs> anti-globalization <laughs> protest. <laughs> someone was arrested next to him. What? I was in the vicinity what? of an arresting. I saw someone get arrested. Yeah. <laughs> I saw something arresting once. I saw. I. I, I thought. I, I, I thought. thought about I thought wor- about writing the number on my arm, but then I decided not to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who was nearly arrested during an anarchist I, anti-globalization I, I was, I protest. I was nearly arrested until the cop recognized that I was wearing the pin that identified me as an undercover. <laughs> <laughs> I was nearly arrested, but Dad let me off. <laughs> so, who was nearly arrested during an anarchist anti-globalization protest against the World Economic Forum in 2002. For punching anarchists. <laughs> Seven... <laughs> <laughs> but then the cop was like, oh, I'm sorry, you're punching the anarchists. Please continue. <laughs> Several years later, uh, I co-created Occupy Wall Street. Oh, that's Again, gracious of him. Doesn't, doesn't, mm. doesn't, doesn't define what co-created means. Did you co-create it as one person who, like, he, he was, he was the first person march? to occupy it. Yeah. 
No, was nobody the, else had ever been in Wall Street before no. that. It, during my d- during my long career as a banker on Wall Street, I'd been one of the first people to occupy Wall Street. Yeah, no, you've absolutely Columbus the Occupy movement by it was already kind of there were already people there, and you've just yeah. swanned in and fucking taken credit for it. It's made a career off the smallpox for some reason. <laughs> so, a social movement against income inequality and the influence of money on democracy that spread to eighty two countries in nearly one thousand cities. Now I'm going to Davos not to protest but to participate. <laughs> 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 All Whoa, of, all the of gang us goes tilting. to Davos? <laughs>